masks, helpful or hoax? Well, I think we all know the answer to that by now. Speaking of masks, let me show a little confrontation here while I express how lockdowns are really effective. They're so effective. Like lockdowns, like there's no, there's no replacement for lockdowns because they're, now, I want you to, to write in the comments, which are disabled, <laughs> I want you to write a comment in the disabled comment section about how you disagree with me because lockdowns are very effective. I mean, first, you, what you got to do is you got to close all the little stores, all the mom and pop, you know, small businesses, all the restaurants, barbecue places, especially, apparently, um, all these places, places that transmit the COVID-19 virus. Okay, so warning, warning, warning. If you go to any small place, you gonna die. You gonna die, man. You gonna die. You gotta go to a Democrat state where there's heavy lockdowns, where you don't have to be tempted and be susceptible to all the germs inside these small businesses. Instead, what's so effective about the lockdowns is they they cluster fudge everybody into these big box stores, all these big retail establishments. So you go to Walmart or Costco. Yeah, you guys have to pay me for this advertisement. But anyway, we'll get to that later. I mean, Walmart and COVID has to, I mean, COVID. <laughs> oh, oh, Freudian slip there. Oh, 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 Walmart and Costco. <laughs> I'm going to have to pay me for this shout out. But anyway, so you cluster fetch everybody into these big stores. So you take, say, a town um, that has, I I don't know, what, how many people are in a town? Let's just say, I don't know, a really big town. Let's just say it's 500,000 population. You take off 500,000 people and instead of separating them and keeping them away from each other and having them stop shop at little stores uh, far away from each other, you don't want to do that because that's called social distancing. What you really want is a lockdown. Here we go. Yeah, I could taste the effectiveness. And what happens is when you take and you close all those small businesses, all those 500,000 people are going to gather in the two or three stores that are open. But the ones that are 24 hours, don't make them 24 hours anymore because then people will be more socially distanced. What you want to do is give them like a 13 hour day. 13, what a great number. Open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then cluster fudge all 500,000 people into these stores. Have them breathing the same recirculated, infected air with those bad filters that they have. And everyone breathing through the masks they've been using for one and two and three weeks. And, you know, just circulate all those COVID germs and cluster fudge everybody into that big establishment. And... Whether they're two, two to two inches to six feet apart, right? Because that's how it happens in grocery and retail establishments. Two inches to six feet apart, you'll somehow be magically immune. Isn't that effective? Oh, wait a second. I think. Hold on a second. I think I got that wrong. I think that's probably why they're having their COVID spikes. Ding, 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 ding. I'm a genius, a self-proclaimed genius. I'm going to get the Nobel Prize for this one. Y'all submit it and recommend me for the Nobel Prize. You hear you? That's right. That's what you do. You lock everybody down. And you make everybody gather in one place. And that's how you ensure that your neighborhood lockdown causes a huge COVID spike. You heard it here first on One Time Daily with Food. Tune in next time for the next whatever. You can't handle the truth. 
we have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of America.